Hey guys, it's Dakota from Biohaz and Risa, and today I'm going to do a review that I told you I was going to do on my D-Boys Scar L. And obviously what you're going to see on this does not come with it, uh, but let's get to it. Okay, um, this is the D-Boys Scar L. I don't know if y'all can see that, but like it's on the back. Oh, there it is, now you can see the silencer. Alright, yeah, got a little silencer on there. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the back and work our way up to the front. Um, it's really not that thick from the back. But pretty much everything internally is stock on this. Most of the externals are stock except for the, uh, the grip and the other stuff. Well, uh, the stock is this standard scar, three position adjustable stock it's even numbered one two three okay um, got the adjustable cheek riser okay uh, you got the standard pistol grip your flip up iron sights and all you do is you just pull it down and pull it up same thing with the front you just uh, front's a little bit harder just pull it up and push it down. All right, now we'll go to the middle. Uh, your middle has your magazine release, your uh, ambidextrous fire selector, um, your hop up, which is accessed right there. See the cylinder, the spin wheel, all that other stuff. And the bolt on this is actually ambidextrous. You can switch it to either side. There's another side for it on the left side. But it came on the right, and I don't feel like changing it back over. Okay. Uh, on the front, we have a Surefire flashlight. Uh, a Magpul angle grip. On the other side, we have a... I want to say, I can't remember the name, but it's just a pistol laser that I put on there. And the pressure switch for the light. And on the front, we have a Echo One USA tracer unit. And the mags that I use are just Magpul P mags with the Magpul Ranger plates. I really, really like Magpul, so a lot of this stuff on this gun is Magpul. Oh, yeah, and we also have the Aim Dot, the Aim Point Special Ops Edition Red Dot 7, which has red and green dot and four uh, reticules. There's the red. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's the brightest red. That is the second brightest red, and that is the dimmest, and I think, what is that? Okay, that's off. Before we find it. Oh. Alright, well, the battery's just done. So... It, but it is red and green dot with four reticles. Uh, this gun is awesome. First impressions of it, I really, really like it. I've only had it since Christmas, so it's not that long. It's February right now, and I got it in December, obviously. But uh, we will do a rate of fire test soon. It's, huh? All right, change of plans, we'll go do it right now. This is a 9.6, this battery, is not for this gun. It won't even fit in the in the uh, the stock. The battery that this gun takes is an 8.4 mini type. Uh, unfortunately, I left it at my house, so we don't have it here today. <coughs> so this is with a 9.6. Okay. To access the battery compartment, you pull the cheek riser all the way up. You place the battery. We can get it on. Probably up 
if you had it on the right side. All right, so the battery's on, and we're going to go out back real quick so we don't wake up. It's smooth, I guess. Well, okay, just right. shoot. This is semi. Okay, hurry. This is full auto. All right, now we're going inside. Guys, this never happened. Okay, so the reason why we had to kind of rush that is we live on a military base, and it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. So... are kind of having a little debate. Let's bring it over here so they can actually see it. Okay. Well, me and Jacob are kind of having a little debate on which one looks better. My gun originally, it had the longer silencer. That one. <laughs> but now he has traded me his. Hopefully, maybe. I maybe. don't know. We're debating. Put them beside each other and see which one looks better. Okay. Uh... And now we're oh. debating on which one looks cooler, I guess you could say. Uh, another thing is, I usually run a Surefire on mine, but I felt there was no need to put my put one on mine because uh, the bulb went out on mine, and also I had to buy new batteries. So, basically it does sabotage me for the video. I think Dakota sabotaged my life, but you know. I got you. <laughs> well. um, but yeah, I, I really like his gun. Just judging from the gameplay he gets and uh, being side by side with him on the combat, I think his gun performs well because he's he's getting shots out as long as I am, especially for playing on a CQB site sa slash basically a long range field. Yeah. But um, for a two hundred dollar gun, oh, basically full metal, it's a great gun. Uh, once he gets a nine point six or lipo raise it, I bet you his gun would be way better than mine. Hopefully, I'm going to lipo that one and build it into a DMR. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. One thing I forgot to go over in the actual review part is which parts on this gun are actually metal. So, uh, this stock is very high-quality plastic. I mean, it's not going to break on you or anything. It's extremely well. Okay, and um, the upper receiver and all of the rails are full metal. Um, the pistol grip is a really strong plastic slash rubbery feel to it, so it, it's really good. It's texturized, and the bottom is also a high quality plastic made of the same material that the stock is. Uh, uh all the pens, everything, the fire selector, the mag release, mag release slide, everything is all metal. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, and then all the sights are metal. Uh, like I said, all the pens are metal. So, Basically, yeah. it's mostly metal except for the stuff that you know shouldn't be metal. So, this I understand this has been a rather long video, but as you know, we like to have fun with our videos, so we really don't care about time. Okay, the guy behind the camera is Jacob, and I'm Dakota. So, oh, another thing. This wicked Taliban official hunter patch. Where'd so, you get it? Uh, I got it at com combatgearing.com. Uh, for rather cheap. I want to say it was like $3.50. And I also got this uh, quick detach one point bungee sling. It's made of really good quality. I'm actually shocked with it considering the price that I paid for it. Alright, guys. This is Dakota. The guy behind the camera is Jacob, and this is Biohazard Resource.